One of my favorite YouTube tools is the vidIQ Chrome extension because it just reveals so much about what's happening behind the scenes of different videos about why they're performing well, why they might not be, and lessons that I can glean from those videos that will help my videos perform better. They were cool enough to sponsor this video so I can take you under the hood and give you an overall review of how it works and how it might benefit you. First of all, where do you get this Chrome extension? You can simply go to vidiq.com slash vision and you'll come right here. You just click on install Chrome extension from your Chrome, Google Chrome browser, of course, and that'll take you to this page. I've already added it to Chrome, but you'll click the blue button right here to add it and you can see you know, 237,000 users, over 1,000 reviews, four and a half out of five stars. I'll, I'll, this is a very popular plugin, Chrome extension a lot of people are using. I love it. Let me show you how it works. So here I am at YouTube and I just simply searched for a new, this new camera that came out, Canon 5D Mark IV. And so first thing I noticed is that I have some data over here that this Google, uh, or that the vidIQ Chrome extension is popping in here. So this is one of the things I like looking at when I'm determining if I'm gonna make video or not so this basically keyword score for this search query I just did and it kind of gives me like an optimization score as showing me hey uh, there's like a lot of search volume like out of a hundred one to 100 there's like 97 a score of 97 search volume but the competition for this keyword is pretty low only about 17 out of a hundred so they're recommending there's a lot of there's a lot of opportunity so it's like a 90 out of a hundred score uh, a lot of opportunity to really rank well for this because it's high search volume, low competition of uh, videos that are competing for it. So this, this is really cool. Then you can, I can see top other other keywords that people are, uh, they're searching for related to this. And as I hover over them, I can also see kind of that average monthly searches that that's getting. I love it that I can quickly do some keyword research just right here, you know, just right here, just by searching on YouTube and, and skimming some of these. Now let's take a look at one of these videos. Let's click on the, the first result that pops up here and uh, look at this camera. And then this is gonna load on the right side. Lots of cool information here. I'm, uh, there's too much for me to really dig into here, but let me give you a, a, a brief overview. First of all, vidIQ score, it's kind of the popularity of, you know, there you can hover over each of these and get more more data about it, but it gives you just an idea of how well this video is viewing or how well it's doing and how well it's optimized. Okay, it's getting about 35 view, and a half views per hour. So if I am thinking about targeting this video, like maybe I wanna make my own related video and try to like rank out, rank over here, this would tell me, you know what, views are only, get, it's only get about 30 an hour and it was published in the, as of this recording, just a few, uh, about a, two weeks ago. And I got really a big burst of views up front, but it's not really climbing anymore. So this video is probably slowing down. How many engagements that I got? Uh, average watch time on this um, this video. Estimated earnings based on a one and a half dollar uh, CPM. Engagement rate, views from Facebook, or I'm sorry, engagement from Facebook and YouTube, uh, Google Plus, Reddit, Facebook data, YouTube data, SEO stuff. Um, this is how many of this creator videos are also showing up as related videos. So two out of 19 possible uh, spots. So it kind of gives you an idea of how well they're optimized and, and keeping viewers on their videos. In this case, not very good. <laughs> it could be better than that. So this reveals the tags people are using. You can see right away, like this video is ranking number two for the keyword Canon 5D Mark IV. If you hover over it, you get that same opportunity score that we saw earlier as well as some other ones. But this is great to get some tags, like idea tags. If you are thinking about making some videos and you're like, oh, this is the type of video I wanna make. Uh, let's research this video. Okay, looks like these guys, I got a popular video. And it looks like they put semicolons after the word photography and Adorama TV and tutorial. Like that just like turns the, the, the tag into nothing. <laughs> it's a big mistake. Okay, but others times you can like really look at what, uh, with some of these tags and get a good idea for what's here. Let's go up to the top, historical data. So this is, you can see this video took off when it was first published and now it's kind of slowed down. I can see the engagement rate, same thing. It was first published, tons of engagement. The engagement on this video is kind of slowed down. 
same thing from here. Uh, and so this helps me know, you know, I'm probably not gonna try to target this video as a related video, for example. Or maybe this topic, this video itself was slowing down, had a big burst of views, but that was about that was about it. Um, you know, one thing that I can look at here is this embed sources back here in this tab. See who's tweeting this, who's sharing it. And maybe get some good ideas of like, hey, I am big dreams on Twitter. Let's see who that you could go look who that is and say, okay, this this person's sharing a lot of photography stuff. It might if I have a photography channel, then maybe that would be someone worth reaching out to. Here's refers, like who's linking back to this video um, and who where are the backlinks to this. And again, maybe you'll find some good forums uh, or Facebook pages like this. Um, this Facebook page is, is sharing it. This Facebook page is sharing it. Uh, you know, so you might get some ideas of different people to reach out to. If it's on a forum, you like might want to create an account and start interacting there. Um, maybe if it's on a Facebook page, you want to start reaching out to some of these people. Like tweets. Now, this is something I love because often when people tweet, like if they just like, you know, your video um, and click that like this button, then then sometimes it tags me, but sometimes they share the video directly, like the URL, and so I would never get notified that someone shared one of my videos without having this. And so I, I can just look and see, not only everyone who shared this video, but when I'm looking at my own video, I can see, oh look, this person shared my video and they didn't even tag me, but now I know I can reach out to them, say thanks, and if it's an influencer, maybe even start building a relationship with that person. And then this trending tab simply shows what other videos are trending right now about the same the same keyword basically so here's the keywords you know with the semicolons which is kind of ruining this uh, do not put semicolons at the end of your tag guys uh, but around photography these are some of the you know some of the other ones and you can see how, approximately how many views that they're getting per minute right now what their velocity is and give you an idea of maybe some uh, other videos that you might want to research and make other videos about and just see how this topic is trending overall another thing I love this extension for is, is helping me filter comments. So here's my recent most recent video, 420 comments. I'll just click on that. Go just to comments for this video. And if I'm, I, you know, I try to read as many of these as I possibly can. Like you guys know that I'm trying to jump in here whenever I can, whenever it's possible. But to help me, like I'm on a time crunch, just kind of filter some of these out. I love the filters here. So here I can see all the comments that already have replies. Oh, here's all, all the comments that don't yet have replies to them. Okay. Here's the ones that are containing questions questions. Who's asking me questions specifically that I can jump into uh, and answer those questions? Uh, who's saying positive things, negative things, comments made by certain users? I can even have multiple filters, you know, so um, doesn't have replies yet that are also uh, questions and um, maybe I only want, they ha need to have a minimum number of, so I'll say minimum number of like, uh, 500 subscribers, so to speak, you know, and so I can just quickly filter all down through those and really see a lot of that content. It also works just here on your general comments under your community uh, tab here. And so another cool thing about this I like is this thing right here. Let's say I'm replying, you know, there's a lot of people you just you know, just want to say thank you to. You can have templates. I don't have one created yet here. So let's say this is going to be my thank you template. And I'm going to say, Glad this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching, you know? Create. Now I have a template, so now whenever I wanna like use that template and click here, say thank you, say insert reply, reply, you know? So I can save templates for those, those types of comments that I make a lot. Another cool thing I love about this extension is that while I am uploading videos, they have this boost feature. Uh, and so the way this works right here is, let's say, um, the title of this is how to grow your YouTube channel, for example, and I'm going to start adding tags here, how to grow on YouTube, you know, things like that. But I have this boost feature down here. And so I have, um, 119 left in my, my period here. So I click on boost and it's now going to start showing me all these different ideas, you know, based on, you know, whatever location I want, sort by, you know, volume, competition, monthly searches, relevancy, English, you know, uh, all this stuff. And so I can even show more here. And so what this is basically doing is now I'm getting that same score. I can see, at, I can do my keyword research while my video is uploading, while I'm writing this. And I got, I use this feature like all the time, almost for every video I upload. 
I usually come into each video with like a pretty good idea of what I want the title and things to be. But as to, after I'm done writing my, my like my ideas for tags and I, I boost it and I start getting as all these other ones here and I can look at the score, the monthly search volume. Okay, so almost no volume for this one right here. So I'm probably not going to add that one. Again, pretty low volume. Okay, here's one that has better volume. All I got to do is check this is add this check mark. Boom and it's gonna add it right up here for me automatically. It also shows, okay, considering the, including these highly searched keywords to your title, okay. Well, so how, maybe instead of like how to grow your YouTube channel, I might wanna put this how to uh, grow on YouTube, you know, as it going with that one. Okay, great. So then uh, as I do type in my description text here, it'll also um, it's make suggestions for me and my for my descriptions. So I don't just blindly, like guys never just blindly like mass add all of these or anything. This is for research and for to help, to help you have ideas that maybe you wouldn't have had before. But there's a lot more that you can do here. I mean, here's some, you're gonna export or CSV of all the data about your videos, mass edit some of your videos, use this one sparingly, don't make like wide sweeping changes to every video on your channel uh, and mass edit. I, I like this like maybe if I need to upload or update like a URL to like my free ebook or something like that, that type of thing. Uh, but you also have it next to each each uh, video here. You can copy the annotations, copy the cards and then paste them to other videos. Feature this means it's gonna highlight this video across all your other videos using um, YouTube's uh, feature in here. Um, thumbnail editor, you know, if you don't, if you're not using Photoshop, you can go through like frame by frame by frame, pick the exact right one. You can add, you know, other, add another, other images. You can do like a lot of different things with all these, uh, all this stuff here. Let's just pick that one, go next, enter your text. You know, there's, there's just a lot of cool stuff here that you can do. And if that wasn't enough, you also get this web suite of tools at vidIQ.com when you log in with your account. Tons of, you know, stuff, graphs and things, data to look at there. Uh, you can see your your YouTube videos, a list of all them, and kind of have them all compared side by side with some quick, easy stats. But not only with YouTube, but also Facebook videos here as well. You can see how those are performing side by side. Um, edit descriptions, just Facebook stuff. You can look at some of the other channels that your subscribers are subscribed to. You can get an idea of the best time to post when your subscribers are online and when they're most active here. And, and this is cool because then it gives you an idea of maybe who you might want to collab with, might reach out to, build relationships with because you know your audience has a high crossover with those other channels. Some bulk SEO tools here as far as like, okay, here's an opportunity in this video. I kind of forgot about it. You know, it's maybe it's dead. It's not really growing anymore. Here's some new things uh, I could maybe consider checking into. Um, doing some keyword research, trending keywords, you know, if I just want to see what's big right now, <laughs> that type of thing. Competitors, also another good tool just to kind of track and overlay how other channels are going that might be in your niche or, or you know, not just kind of people you want to keep up with. One of the coolest things about the vidIQ Chrome extension is that almost everything I showed you is available completely for free. No signups or anything. All you got to do is just go download the Chrome extension, add it to your Chrome browser, and you can start using almost all those features immediately. Now they do have some features which are available as a monthly paid subscription service. And if you would like to try out any of their paid plans completely for free, you can use the promo code Video Creators TV, and that'll let you use any of their paid plans for 30 days just to check it out, see if it's right for you or not. You can find direct links to everything I just talked about in the description below this video, make it easy, convenient for you. So go check that out. And I would love to hear your feedback. How do you use the vidIQ Chrome extension? for helping you better your content and learning about what you're watching on YouTube. Give us some tips and things that you, some features you like best. And if this is your first time here on Video Creators, I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. We are all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and impacts their lives. So thank you for letting me and vidIQ be a small part of that. Subscribe and I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another YouTube tip. See you then, bye.